This demonstration gives an overview of all pricing options in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009. Microsoft Dynamics AX has several ways of arriving at the sales or purchase price of an item. This demonstration will provide an overview of the pricing options for customers, but the same principles apply to vendor pricing. Other demonstrations will review the details of each specific pricing option. Item pricing is established by listing a price or indicating a markup from cost on each item. The price is applicable to all customers. Trade agreements are used to establish pricing or discounts for all individual or groups of items and customers. Manual pricing is used to override prices during data entry. Item pricing is the default price from the item master. Every item that is sold should have a default price. It is used when selling to customers that are not linked to a trade agreement. The price can be listed on the price discount tab or it can be calculated from the cost. See the item pricing demonstration for more information. Trade agreements are where prices and discounts are defined. There are four types of trade agreements. Sales price, line discount, multi-line discount, and total discount. Trade agreements can be linked directly to a customer or to a customer price discount group. Customer price discount groups are user-defined categories linked to the customer to establish pricing. Item discount groups are used to group items for assessing line or multi-line discounts. Trade agreements can contain specific items, groups of items, or all items. Sales price trade agreements, sometimes referred to as price lists, are used to establish specific item prices. Customer price groups are created for each group of customers that will receive the same prices. In this example, price groups have been created for major accounts. A trade agreement listing of all the item pricing is created for the major accounts group. The price group 01 for major accounts is then attached to specific customers. When a sales order is entered for a customer linked to a price group, the prices from the trade agreement will be used. Line discount trade agreements are used to discount the price by a percentage or by an amount. A line discount can be apl applied to all items, a group of items, or specific items. Multi-line discount trade agreements are used to discount a group of items by percentage or amount, usually based on a quantity purchased. The total quantity purchased on all sales order lines is evaluated when calculating the discount. For example, in this trade agreement, we have set up a 2% discount on 250 items purchased from the item price group 02, which is medium margin items. The customer can purchase multiple different items from the item price group 02 and receive a 2% discount on all of the items if they purchase at least 250. The difference between line and multi-line is that line discounts evaluate each line individually, while multi-line discounts evaluate all lines. Total discounts are a discount amount or percentage calculated on the entire order. A total discount can be contingent upon a minimum order amount. In this example, the high volume customers in price group 01 will receive a 2% discount if the total order is at least 10,000 US dollars. Manual pricing is used to override the price during data entry. This is helpful for a salesperson who is preparing a custom quote. Trade agreements should be utilized for standard pricing 
and manual pricing should only be used for exceptions. To summarize the pricing options in Microsoft Dynamics AX, item pricing is the default price. Sales price trade agreements will override the default price. Line and multi-line trade agreements discount from the price. They will discount from the trade agreement price if a trade agreement exists. Otherwise, they discount from the default price. Total discount trade agreements discount the entire order. Manual pricing overrides all other pricing during data entry. The pricing options reviewed in this demonstration refer to customer pricing, but the same functionality exists for vendor pricing in accounts payable.